I probably would not start a business if I was in my early 20s, late teens. And that sounds very counterintuitive because I run a business. But the business I'm running, the main goal of it is to work with massive business owners and learn as much as possible while providing a skill for them. So what I would recommend instead of running a business is to find a way to work with somebody who already makes a lot more money than you and learn as much as you can from them and then replicate that skill for other people. Uh, I'm, you can call that a business, but in reality, it is just bouncing from bigger and bigger fish. I'm, let's say you're working with someone who makes a million dollars a year and you learn as much as you can from that person. Then you go to someone who's making $10 million a year. And the reason you are able to do that is because you're going to make a lot of connections working with that first person. And then with that second person, you're going to have a whole new skill set that you can actually use to help that person who's making, let's say, $10 million a year to level up. And then hopefully you can work with someone that's making a hundred million, a billion dollars. And that's how you are going to level up your skill set to the highest possible degree. Or at least when I'm saying you, I'm really just talking about myself in third person because that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm still working with everyone at the same time, but I started working with someone who was making about a million, two million dollars a year. And now I'm going to be working with someone who has a two billion dollar real estate portfolio uh, and business that has hundreds of employees. And I don't know how much he's making a year, but it is a ridiculous amount. And how am I now doing this? And why do I think that's way more valuable than scaling my business to an extra 20 grand a month? I, that for me does not excite me. If I could, I think I, if I just wanted to work with people directly that I know, and I'm pretty confident in saying this, I could probably squeeze out another twenty to $30,000 a month right now. But that would take up all, all my time's already being taken up, but that is because I want to level up my skill set. And I think the highest ROI that I can do, the most bang for my buck, is actually just going to be and working directly with somebody, providing the same skill, but only to that person who already has such a developed business that I'm going to be able to learn immeasurable amounts from. There is just genuine question to the person that I'm talking to now. How much would you pay or what would you give up and sacrifice to get to spend six months working every single day, going to every single meeting, every single discussion, learning how they manage employees, every single aspect of a billionaire's business? What do you think that's worth? And for me, I don't have an answer for you, but I guess after however long I work with the guy, I will let you guys know. I will tell you how much I would have been willing to sacrifice. It, it is an insane amount. Uh, but I think these types of opportunities are really what are going to bring me from making 20 grand a month to $200,000 a month. And I wouldn't be surprised if that happens in a relatively quick manner. Of course, it would be exponential growth, but it is more so just imagine these skill sets that I'm going to learn working with these kinds of people. It, it is going to be insane because I'm not just going to be surrounded by him. All of his friends are also on the same level and I'm going to be, be with them uh, on a weekly basis as well. So imagine being surrounded by people who just make millions of dollars a year when they sleep by learning these crucial skills. So what should you do? Or I'm not ever going to say what should you do, but if I was talking to myself, what would I do? And it's really finding some sort of skill set that you can do to work for somebody for any amount of money, probably for free, maybe pay the person. And don't shoot for a billionaire because it's never going to happen because they don't want you. But learn a skill working with a small business owner and capitalize on that to the highest degree. Learn every single aspect of that business that you can and learn something that can take that and increase profits and become a specialist in it. I was talking to somebody who really wants me to work with them. They have about a $250 million real estate portfolio. And I had to turn them down because they were not my ideal client. But he, I said, I, I can't do this. But what I can do is train whoever's running your current system right now. And he said, okay. So he said, the only problem is he's a jack of all traits, but master of none. And those types of people, there is a role for them. But 
What I'm trying to do is become a master of a certain trait to where I can name my business. I can go anywhere that I want. Any, I can work for literally whoever, because if I am the number one person in my area, every single person in the world who runs a business that needs my expertise is going to want me. Uh, so I'm trying to master a very specialized skill and then work with absolutely whoever I want. I don't know what decision's best for you. That guy still makes a very good living and you could do that running. You can run a mega big a corporation becoming a jack of all traits without mastering any. And I think that might even be a more valuable skill. You definitely need those kinds of people. But I just thought it was an interesting comparison because he said, I need someone with your special, uh, I need someone with your specialties. Whew. And I said, I'm sorry, I feasibly don't have the time for this right now. I put him in contact with one of my friends who is also in the business. So Let's say you are working with someone, a local business owner, and you are learning some skills with them and you get really good at, uh, I don't know, it doesn't matter what the skill is, but you get really good at it. Then what I would do is I would double 10x down and do that skill for 10 different people because then you can start to A, B test and that would actually be A, B, C, D, E, F testing because you get to do it and get so much more data collected personally. If you do this same process for a bunch of different people, then you can see what works for what industries. When that industry works, how are you going to double, triple, quadruple down on it? How do you know when it works? How quickly will you know if it works? These are at least just questions that I'm asking myself and why I'm trying to, or why I was working with so many people for so long, but now I'm starting to dial that back a lot is because I wanted to test to see what worked. And then once you figure out what works, you go all in on that. And then I would probably just try and scale up working for much bigger corporations. And that's what I'm doing now. And you might think this sounds ridiculously hard, but it's not once you start to get interconnected in those circles. And the only way you do that is starting to talk to the CEOs, become friends with them, work directly with the CEO. That is the only way that you are ever going to meet their friends who are also massive business owners and doing humongous things. And you might say, hey, that seems very self-conceited. You're working with this first guy, then you're bouncing around. It's not if everybody, you can still make everybody your number one priority, and that just comes down to working harder. And that might be a pose a challenge for some people. I'm just talking to myself as to what I'm doing. So never take my advice because I wouldn't, I wouldn't even listen to myself. This is a very crazy plan, but nonetheless, it's what I've been doing and it has worked thus far. So I could expand on this to about infinity times more, but I simply don't have the time tonight. So 